Israeli cuisine. While most Israelis embrace the well-known staples of Mediterranean cuisine such as pita, hummus, and falafel, the rich tapestry of immigrants coming to Israel has led to a very diverse range of interpretations of what it truly means to experience Israeli food. Israelis love maintaining a healthy lifestyle and take pride in Israel's abundant supply of fresh produce. So it's no surprise that the vegetarian diet has become increasingly popular here in Israel. So today, we'll meet a couple of chefs that believe that healthy eating is the way to go. Vegan food has become a huge trend in Tel Aviv and today we're going to check out a very cool restaurant in Tel Aviv. It's known as 416. Let's go ahead and check it out. So we are now at this gorgeous bar and we're about to make some two very nice cocktails. What are we making? So today we're going to make uh, the bison grass okay. and the apple wood. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go. Today I want to make two different cocktails from our regular menu. Craft cocktail bar. It means we make our own stuff, our syrups, uh, some of our liquors. Uh, the first one will be bison grass. The bison grass is a shaking cocktail. Uh, we're using basil leaves. Now we lightly muddle the basil leaves. We want to release some aromas and color on the way. Now, the alcohol is a brovka. The brovka is a vodka spiced with bison grass. You can see the grass inside. Second, I'm putting Saint Germain. Saint Germain is a flower liquor. Kind of tastes like a lychee. Some lemon juice. This is homemade cucumber and lemongrass syrup. Now I'm gonna add some just pineapple juice, nothing too special. This is aquafaba. Aquafaba is the cooking water of hummus. Chickpeas to top it all, some Angostura bitter. The second one is a stirred cocktail, starting equal parts bourbon, sweet vermouth. It's a bitter hot chocolate liqueur, Italian one. Homemade passion fruit syrup and some Angostura bitter. Now I'm gonna stir and shake it. The second step of this cocktail, because of the aquafaba, you need to double shake it. Very foamy. It is. This is why we double shake it to get this foam on top. Gorgeous. That's it. Apple wood and the bison grass. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Wow. This is so fresh. Yeah. This is the actual part of the drink that is with the lemon juice right. and the pineapple juice and the basil that comes in very nice. I thought because it's so foamy, it would be heavier, but no. delicious. The foam is because it's from the aquafaba, from the chickpeas, yeah. it's super light. It's now I'm gonna try one. this one. Yeah. And you try mine. Sure. This is delicious also. Yeah. This is a bit, a bit heavier. A bit heavier. Right. This is almost pure alcohol. You can't taste this kind of stuff everywhere else. Right. Because this is our own Unique recipes. recipes, right? Yeah. This is the best seller, and this is for a specific crowd. Right. But this is for whoever wants to get drunk. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so good. We are here in the occasion of my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Thanks for coming again, Adi. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you. What made you decide to open a vegan place? Um, so I've been vegan personally. Also, uh, my twin brother, you know, we're partners. We've been vegan for over 12 years. And uh, we were kind of born into the restaurant industry. It was one of those things where all our friends were like, when are you going to open a vegan restaurant? <laughs> We probably are one of the you know, most popular and successful vegan restaurants, um, but we really want to bring more non-vegan guests in. Next time I'm going to come with my husband to show him that he can enjoy food without meat. How long has this place been open? Going on two years. January 15th we'll be celebrating two years. Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. to that. So what kind of crowd usually comes in? Because Israel is like a very small uh, place, 
Um, it's a, the vegan community is very, uh, it, it's big, but it's also very connected, so word spreads fast. I had high expectations and it fulfilled all of them. I enjoyed everything. Sometimes we get customers that just, they see the place and it looks pretty to them and they walk in. Right. And it doesn't say vegan anywhere in the restaurant right. or on the menu and they'll just kind of sit down and eat. And then at the end of the meal, something will tip them off and they'll be like, what, is this vegan? Is it difficult owning a vegan place? I mean, Israel is such an opinionated place. Specifically in Tel Aviv, there's a huge market for it. I mean, you have like probably like at least 30 exclusively vegan restaurants. I think what sets us apart is um, the scale, the decor, you know, the, the ambiance. We're not just selling food. This place is so beautiful and fun to sit at. Like the, the service is great and the music is always great. Everything, the ambiance, everything is great here. So, you want to show me to the kitchen? Hello there. Hello. That's my twin brother Ben, he's also uh... <laughs> Am I getting fooled here? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Pretty good, Jack. Okay, so we're gonna make uh, two different dishes right now. The first one uh, we call shrooms and corn. The dish consists mostly of corn and different variations and uh, fresh oyster mushrooms that we grill on the spot. First we have to dress the mushrooms. These are uh, fresh oyster mushrooms. They have an incredible meaty texture. So I'm dressing this with salt and garlic oil that we make here. Put the mushrooms on the grill. These are onion rings we make in-house from uh, red onion. We coat them in cornmeal. In the meantime, we're, um, we do a fresh chimichurri for this uh, dish. Um, so for the chimichurri, we start with fresh herbs. We have a blend of freshly chopped parsley and cilantro, toasted pine nuts. And this is a uh, red chili pepper. We dress it with a vinegar and a little bit of the garlic oil and just some salt. Now we'll just give it a little bit more time on the other side. So these are our onion rings. So this is homemade corn cream. We use fresh corn that people first eat with their eyes, then with their nose, and then with their taste buds. This looks amazing. So now we'll do the skewer. The skewer is one of our best-selling dishes. We specialize here in uh, handmade seitan. And this is what it ends up looking like. It's very meat-like, even in the, not just in the flavor and texture, but even in just the appearance. Now we'll be creating the, uh, the bed for the um, skewer. We'll start with uh, chili peppers. We have a mix of uh, red onion. This is homemade tahini. We make it specifically the consistency of hummus. And that will be the dish. Voila! Now that you've seen me make it, you can try it and let me know how you feel about it. All right. Wow. This is good. Yeah? It's absolutely, really. I'll give you an A+. Plus. <laughs> so this is the alfajores. Alfajores is a traditional Argentinian dessert. So it really starts with a cookie. That's the original um, influence. Um, and then we did our own take on it. So the whole dish is just based around what's in the cookie, which is pretty much lemon zest, dulce de leche, and coconut flakes. Here. I like everything about the Israeli culture of food. The cucumbers and tomatoes are amazing here, which I don't honestly think I found something that good in the States. For now, I go to eat hummus with my friends for lunch. Tel Aviv has all kinds of, uh, that's what I love about this city. You have everything from Indian to Moroccan to Turkish food to, to Italian food. So, everything. You can see that in Israel they take in like, uh, let's say, original food and make it like actually better. <laughs> There's so many vegan options. Um, I'm not vegan, but my roommate is. The stuff, it just tastes good. The vegetables taste better here. I don't know what it is about, about Israel, but they do the vegetables really good. <laughs> Let's go and check Haya's cooking style. Hi! Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Haya's mom. Vegan. Nice to meet you. I'm a D. <laughs> Wow, you have an ocean view? Yes, Kimat. <laughs> almost, almost. My favorite part is the kitchen. You want to come? Yeah. Meet Chaya. 
Born and raised in Paraguay, she decided to move to Israel, having fallen in love with the warm local culture. A chef by trade, she's passionate about cooking fresh meals and even teaches her healthy cooking techniques to others in her spare time. So, what are we cooking today? So, first of all, we will make the chipa wasu, that is a typical food from Paraguay. It's really easy and really tasty. Okay, what ingredients do we need for this? So, first of all, onion, cheese, some eggs, oil, corn, and salt. We can start to put all in the blender. Easy peasy. Yes. Whoa. Really easy. Okay. So, first of all, I will put down just like a half of the corn, the onion, the oil, the eggs some salt and we can start to blend it. So for how long are we blending this? So until you see that it's all a mixture blend. And now we can put the other, the other half pie? of uh, corn. That's it. That's it? That's it. Very nice. So it's like a smoothie just from corn. So you do want a little chunks in there? Uh-huh. Okay. So I will take a glass can. Okay. Does it matter how big it is? It depends on, on the quantity. You see the texture? Right. That's the texture she was talking about. So you take it all out. And now is the time for the cheese. Oh, I like cheese. So any kind of cheese, we can just go ahead and use any? Any kind okay. of cheese that you like. The more, the merrier. Yes. So now I like to push a little bit of uh, cheese. Okay. To be like this, if, because if not, the cheese will like get burned. Right. So now we are going to put this in the oven? For about ha half an hour okay. on 200 degrees Celsius. So let's put this in the oven. So now I, will, I want to show you how to do chocolate without sugar, without gluten, without anything. Really, really natural. So we have hot water in the pan. Yes. Okay. So now I have to put the bowl. And then we can start put the cacao butter, but it's really important to melt in low heat. Okay. So this is very cool. I've never melted this kind of butter before. So now we, we are going to to add the cacao, maple, and some nuts. Well, this is a healthy version of chocolate. So now I'll mix the cacao inside, correct? Yes, the maple. The maple. So the maple is instead of sugar? Of sugar, yes. Okay. But I didn't put a lot of maple. Right. It will be like dark chocolate. So Haya, I think I blended it very nicely and mixed it and it's all... Chocolatey. Yes. And now I want to put some vanilla. Let's put some vanilla. <laughs> I love that smell of vanilla. Me too. So, Chaya here took over because she felt like there were a lot of bubbles. <laughs> I'm not perfect, so. We have a perfectionist. I feel like it's perfect. <laughs> so now that it's all perfect, mm -hmm. look at this, guys. I think you've never seen such pretty chocolate. I gotta tell you, I never made homemade chocolate. Really? This is my first time. You look at that, it's really easy. It's really easy. I yes. never thought making chocolate was easy. <laughs> Who knew? And it's healthy. So now I will put the chocolate in the silicone mold. Okay. Uh huh. Ooh. This chocolate just got even healthier. Yes. Okay. If it wasn't healthy before. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter, that, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Uh, peanut butter. <laughs> For all. American people. Mm -hmm. Reese's. Yes. Right here. Just with dark chocolate. Sorpresa. 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 <laughs> and then I'll cover that up mm -hmm. for our surprise. Wow. This is so good. Yes. <laughs> so now you never buy chocolate in the house? No. Ever. Never. never. It's always homemade. Yes. Wow. Now we will put in the fridge. Half an hour. It half will be ready. Hour. Yes. In the fridge, half an hour. That's yes. it. That's it. Ready? Yes! Wow! Smells delicious. Yes. Looks delicious. So, what are we making last but not least? So now we are going to make a blueberry cheesecake. For the crust, we will need some almond flour, pecans, dates, cinnamon, and coconut oil. For the cheese, cashew, maple, lemon, blueberries, coconut oil, and cream coconut. We're starting with the crust to take out the... The seed. Almond flour, pecans, 
cinnamon and then coconut oil. Now you look that it's like the texture is like sandy. Wow, it's coconut. Take it and mm -hmm. make it into like, like a ball. Like a ball and then you put it and you press. So it's a pretty thick layer, right? Yes. So we're making cheesecake from cashews. We will put all the cashews. Okay. The maple. Very eager to see how that's gonna turn out. So the maple for the sweetness, right? Yes. The coconut cream, coconut oil, the lemon juice. So you put a full lemon? Half. And I will blend it. So you see that it's really creamy? I am shocked. Okay, I have to try it. Wow. This is so cool. Cheesecake from cashews. This is my first time and I think it's gonna replace any cheesecake ever. Better than the Cheesecake Factory. Shh. <laughs> so now that is creamy and everything. Right. So we will put the first layer. So how many layers do we have here? We will have one and another one. The, the one with the blueberries. <gasps> and you will see the magic. <laughs> See the color? Wow. Purple. Yes. So here goes the second layer. Yes. Wow. So now the next step is to put to the freezer. That's it? That's it. Oh my god, this was amazing. So how long are we putting that in? An hour, an hour. An hour. Yes. Finally try it, and I'm sure it's delicious. I love it. So, Chaya, when did you make Aliyah to Israel? I'm living here four years already. Okay. I really decide that I want to change. Okay. Then my sister was here. Okay. And she told me, why you don't come? So I decided to come to a Masa program, okay. and everything ch changed like I really felt that I want to be here. Wow. Like it was totally, totally different from Paraguay. How old were you when you came with the Masat program? Uh, 21. So Vivian, how do you feel that Chaya moved to Israel? I was amazingly happy, happy, happy. I think that every Jew outside, outside Israel is missing something. Right. Yeah. They feel something missing in yes, their heart. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Only here you feel complete. So Vivian, Chaya is not a very typical South American name, right? No, it's not. Like 35 years ago, Chabad went to Paraguay for the first time and stay. The rabbi's Menachem uh, wife was Chaya. And then I loved the name. What was it like growing up in Paraguay? It was great, but it's, the thing is that it's not really safety to walk around the, the streets. Did you feel? Jewish? Where, did you have connections? Did you celebrate no. holidays? Eh, a little bit, but mm. but I, all my friends are Christian, you know? Right. And that's okay, but I didn't like... Then I came here and I felt that it's my place, you know? Right. And then actually in my work, in my first job in Israel, I I met my, my boyfriend, that he will be my husband in one month. Wanna show the ring? Of course. <laughs> What do you say about that? <laughs> so because of him, you stayed, you want to say? No, no, I, no, okay. no, 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 no. Because <laughs> she found a Jewish boy, so. No, no. <laughs> I already decide when I make Aliyah. So now that you live in Israel, mm -hmm. you feel safe walking on the street? Of course. Yeah. I I go out whenever I want. No, nobody uh, nobody looks at me, you know? Right. Nobody, and it's I feel really good. <laughs> How do you decide? I like cooking. When I was uh, 18, mm -hmm. I went to a cooking course. Then I worked in Paraguay also in two restaurants. The one vegetarian and then the first vegan restaurant. Wow. Actually, in, in Latin America, they don't eat really good food, like healthy food. So that's why I decided to study nutrition and then the, I wanted to make my healthy twist on the foods. So then I discovered the vegan food and I fell in love. I really like to cook vegan food or no-bake food, like raw food and 
natural, you know. And then I came to Israel, and here in Israel you have a billion, billion vegan restaurants, right. healthy restaurants, and I love that. You were there for how long? For two months. Wow. Mm -hmm. You were there by yourself? In by myself. Wow. Yeah. What? But, it's a, but it was a really, really nice experience. Yeah. Yes. So this dish probably reminds you of home, right? Of course. Every week, once a uh, one week, we always eat chipa hueso. Now, let's try... What about the chocolate? Okay. So let's see if they fall into... Into the... A surprise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. I got a heart. Wow. Mm. I got the peanut butter. Yes! Mm. I wouldn't believe. Really? Right now. And last but not least, our cake over here. Mm -hmm. Our cheesecake. Like, listen, this is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Wow. Hi, mm. this is. Oh my god. You first. Okay. <laughs> Together. Together, okay. okay. This is delicious. Really. I'll invite you over to make me some, okay? Hi. <laughs> Salud.